Wow, Tina. <laughs> it's like coming onto a different planet. Absolutely. This is our, our wilderness, really. It's an incredible ancient wilderness. The biggest thing about the bog is the little things. Yeah. <laughs> the little thing, like, like even have a look here. Well, what is that? That's a little lichen. It's actually a, a, a fungi and a lichen kind of combined. Can I touch it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's known as devil's matchsticks. Also British soldiers it's known as because of, the, of its red cap. But I use my macro lens because it's almost like using a microscope. These are details that really you can't see with the naked eye. But when you look through the macro lens, it captures all those tiny little intricate details of, of these beautiful works of art. So we're going to go off the boardwalk here. It's okay, solid so ground. Okay, so you followed the animal track. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because it, yeah. If it holds the weight of a deer, hopefully it can hold me. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is the yeah. this is the sphagnum moss that we were talking about. It's here. Oh, look at the colour. Oh, wow. Can I take a bit? Mm -hmm. And you can see the roots are quite deep. Like, I mean, the sphagnum moss is the most extensive plant in the bog. Uh, without without sphagnum moss, we, we really wouldn't have a bog. They're known as the bog builder. So wow. they, yeah, no, they're really not only beautiful to look at, but such an important plant because when it dies, because of the acidic conditions, it doesn't rot. And new mosses come and um, they grow on top of that dead moss and it doesn't rot. So it keeps growing and growing and forming these beautiful living carpets, which is what we are observing here. 